Hey Matt, did you see that Ellie De La Cruz's first Bowman Auto Super Factor just sold? I did. Truly one of the best sales we've seen in the Bowman market since the COVID hype. I know there was some trout sales that beat it, but for a young player super, like this is really, really strong for the Bowman market. I know Ellie had a strong year. Ellie is not the perfect player, right? He has a strikeout problem. I think he struck out 205 times this year, but the the pizzazz is there. He's 22 years old. I think he had 25 homers, 35 steals this season, which at age 22, quite impressive. Everyone would agree if Ellie puts it all together, cuts down on the swing and miss, like we're looking at a perennial MVP candidate. Today, I actually wanted to focus on his counterpart of the position, who I think is becoming quietly one of the best players in baseball, Bobby Witt, right? Ellie De La Cruz is getting some of the hype off of that sale. Witt, to me, is the safer play. He's two years older, granted, but the game, to me, very similar to Trout. Not a lot of swing and miss. I think he has half the Ks that Ellie had this year. He hit 35 homers. His team is pushing for the playoffs. We got three days left. Um, De La Cruz's team is not in the playoffs. Witt basically single-handedly single carried his team to the playoffs. It's truly amazing stuff. The the 10 war season at age 24 is things we haven't seen since Trout and one year of Harper in the early 2010s. Famer, and I think Wit is the next one to pick up that baton from these two and take it. The, the Wit trajectory is very Trout-like to me, where the Ellie trajectory is a little bit more hit or miss. We actually have a Bobby Witt Jr. first Bowman orange numbered out of 25 in a PSA 9, but it's also his jersey number match. To me, you can't beat an orange Bowman Chrome auto. They just pop, right? I don't know if anyone's ever had an orange Bowman Chrome in person, but they just pop the best in my opinion. With this specific card, Bobby Witt's jersey number, I mean, come on, that's gonna be likely in, in Cooperstown, likely in, they'll have murals in Kansas City and Kauffman Stadium. Like that number is gonna matter, right? It's not gonna be some random Joe Schmo jersey number that you're bidding on here. That number seven will be retired in two different places Cooperstown and Kaufman, and it'll be similar to a Jeter number two. I feel comfortable saying that. If Witt is as good as we think, he will be the Kansas City Royals' Derek Jeter, and we know how iconic that number two is. And I think looking forward a couple decades, that number seven will be up there, and that little characteristic of this card is going to mean quite a bit.